The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in His sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. I was just having this wonderful dream. Do you know who else had a dream? Jacob. The son of Isaac. Let me tell you about his dream today. Yes, yes, yes. Story time. All right, children. I will tell you the story, but you have to listen carefully because I will ask a question at the end of it. Are you ready then? Yes, we are. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a man named Isaac who had married a woman named Rebecca. They led a very happy married life and had two sons, Esso and Jacob. At that time, the oldest son used to inherit most of a father's land and money. So though Esso was a hunter, since he was the older of the two, he got all of Isaac's money. Jacob was a shepherd. But Rebecca, their mother, loved Jacob more. So when Isaac died, Rebecca and Jacob tricked Esso out of all his money and property. Esso was very, very angry. He was so angry that Jacob had to run away from Canaan to save himself. He thought of going away to Mesopotamia. On his way, Jacob stopped at a lonely place to rest. As he fell asleep on the rocky place, he had a dream. In his dream, he saw a ladder that went up to the heavens and the angels were climbing that ladder. As Jacob looked more closely, he saw the Lord himself standing near the ladder. God said to Jacob, Jacob, I am the God of your grandfather and father. The land on which you are lying is going to be yours. You are one of the chosen people and you will have as many children and grandchildren as the sand on this ground. Jacob woke up happy. He said to himself, This land is surely holy. So he dropped some oil on the rock he was sleeping on and called it Bethel, the house of God. After that, he promised that if the God of his father and grandfather looked after him, then he would accept him as his God too. I hope you listen carefully. Here is my question. What did Jacob name the land that God promised him? Was it? Was it Beth? Beth? Bethel? You are absolutely right. Now let me rest. Bye bye all. Tales.